Hi, Dirty Girl here with another vintage haul from the flea market. I do have some fun jewelry this time. Um, I didn't buy a whole, whole lot, but uh, and, and my, my buddy Alex, I found out that he was not, in fact, at the flea market last weekend. He said he was hungover. I was like, that is not an excuse. <laughs> and he also, he had very little new jewelry for me. He just... Um, He's been really focusing on his designer purses, which I have no interest in. So, um, but he did, he put back a couple of Navajo rings for me. So, I'll just show you those first. This one is, it's a nice green turquoise. And uh, it's not marked or anything. It looks oldish. And that was 15. And then this little one. Just a classic, really pretty bright blue turquoise, and that one was 10. And it's not marked either, but they are silver, for sure. And uh, then he also sold me this bracelet, which is, um, I don't know what you call this, but it's a really heavy, it is very heavy. It's not marked, but what I loved about this bracelet is the class has these two hooks that go into here. Oops, if I can get it to go there. And it just completely disappears. That is a completely invisible clasp. Uh, this thing weighs like 60 grams. It's very heavy. So anyway, I paid 45 for that. And uh, I bought a couple of pieces that I suppose might be Victorian, I hope. This, uh, and this lady, um, I've bought things from her before. She usually has things fairly high priced, uh, but she usually has very quality items. So uh, I'm hoping she, she thinks this is Victorian. She has it on the tag and everything. Victorian corn, corn, coin keeper. And it's got this little latch right here and it opens up like that, and then this one I'm pretty sure is supposed to spring out too. Um, it's not springing out, I'm gonna have to work on that. The, the spring on the hinge might be broken. But still, it's pretty neat. And um, she thought that it hung on a chatelaine so that you could pay you know, the shopkeeper that delivers your bread or whatever, you could pay them with the coins on your chatelaine. Now it has these four spaces right here that I assume had some kind of gems, which are absent. So I'm going to replace them with, um, probably with Swarovski crystal. I have some that would look nice. And uh, the metal is brass and it's not marked at all. Anyway, I just thought that was a lovely piece. I paid 20 for that. And then this bracelet, I'm not sure whether it's real Victorian or not, but, and she didn't really know either, but it is, it looks, from this side at least, it looks genuine. I'm not sure about the back. And it has a, um, one of these hinged clip fasteners, which I, I think that they are old. I think they were invented quite a while ago, but I just don't normally see them on really old jewelry. So I'm thinking it may be a revival piece, but I need to do a little more research. Of course, it's not marked, um, and I paid 15 I think, for that. But I love that tempted to keep it and wear it, but I don't wear bracelets very much. And then I got this, which is a very large carved cinnabar pendant. And I do believe it is real cinnabar. In fact, I'm pretty positive it is. And it's older because it's starting to turn a little bit brown instead of being bright red. The older cinnabar is, the darker it gets. I had a cinnabar box that was almost black one time. <laughs> it's very cool, but look at this. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a kitty cat right there. It's so cute. 
there's just, if you look at this, there's all kinds of interesting people with little, you know, a scribe and a guy playing a musical instrument and there's a frog, I think, or an alien. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But anyway, it's, it's a really interesting piece. $10 for that. And, okay. uh, and then I got this sterling silver and abalone bracelet. And this one is signed. It has, um, it's signed, I think it's RPR. And it is, I believe it's Guadalajara. I'm going to have to look what the number two eagle mark is. You just don't see that one very often. One is Mexico City and three is Tosco, and I think two might be Guadalajara. But anyway, it's very, it's nice. And it's, that was 15. Uh, got this rhinestone bracelet. Probably a mid-century piece for five dollars. It's in really good condition. No missing stones, no dark stones. It's um, it's not signed. That's pretty. And uh, this is a Weiss red grindstone brooch. This is a, a post-1955 because it's got the copyright symbol. And that was nine dollars. This is a very long. <laughs> I just thought this cameo was kind of interesting, all gussied up. Uh, it's it's a kind of a crudely cut cameo, but it is a real one. And it's got all these. I think it's probably glass. Yeah, that's got to be just glass. But I just thought it was kind of, kind of fancy. It's on this long chain, and the chain has these little dangles on it that are like little pineapples. That's probably a mid-century piece, I would say. That's fun. got this set of, I don't know if you can see the patina on this. It's in the sun. It flashes red. It's really interesting. I never have seen anything like it, and I just decided I had to have this. It's, I'm sure, a mid-century piece. Um, again, not marked, but very well made. Uh, it's got some in fact, it may be later because the earrings that go with it are post earrings. It could be 1960s. They're definitely wearing post earrings in 1960s. But I thought that was really pretty. I believe I paid eight for that set. And then the last uh, jewelry esque item that I bought, um, I showed them to you when I was at the flea market. The guy was selling the natural, the polished stone pendants, and he was selling them. If you bought more than five, you got them for a dollar a piece, which I thought was pretty good, because there's some pretty cool ones in here. I think they're mostly agate, but let's see if you can, I don't know how to show them to you without spilling them. But there's the hearts, and um, they're just such pretty colors. That one, it's possible that one is lapis, but I'm, I don't know. I'm thinking not. And I don't know what this very bright blue one is. So I got those. And then I got some these. These are just like little lumps, cubes, and squares, and things. Get what that speckled one is. But anyway, um, I have a chain already picked out. I am going to make a, a dangle necklace. 
these already have pinch bales on them. All I have to do is just stick them on and it'll be done. And I don't know if I'll sell it or wear it or what I'll do, but I figure, yeah, why not? Okay, so that is all of the jewelry. And um, let's see if I can get this out without knocking the tripod over. Oops. Okay, so I got this stained glass lampshade. Um, I think that this is old. I think that it's bronze or copper. The glass is really pretty. I don't know if you can see the colors through it, but it's it's really pretty. The, they've got kind of a rainbow sheen on them like Aurora Borealis stones. And the inside is marked, um, I've forgotten, H C. The inside is marked H.C. I haven't found any other marks on it. But for 10 bucks, I thought I probably couldn't go wrong. So pretty. I guess that would go on my lamp. I don't know. It's awfully pretty. And I got another mirror. I've got, I, this is the third one of these I bought, I think. In fact, I may still have one for sale in my Etsy shop that I haven't sold yet. But the, um, the casting on these flowers is just really nice. And you can tell by the back that it's reasonably old. Uh, it does have some glue or something on it. She started out wanting $10 for it. I was kind of looking at the glue and she goes, oh, does it have something on it? And I said, oh yeah, it's got this like glue. And she says, well, I'll give it to you for five. So I said, okay. So I think I've picked most of it off now. So. Any, any left will come right off, I'm pretty sure. So, anyway, $5 for that. I've got a chicken egg cup. It is marked Delfts, D-E-L-F-T-S, 118, which is different than Delft, no S. Um, I believe it is from... Holland, but it's not the same as Delft. But it's cute, and it was three dollars. Can't really go wrong. I got this tiny little address. Uh, I don't know if you really call it a book or what, but if you are of a certain age, you remember these. You put the letter right there, and then you open it up. Oops! Come on! Come on! Open up! Oops! Open up. Well, that's not good. Maybe I've got it between letters. Oh, there we go. Okay, anyway. Pops open. And you can go directly to the people name with CD names. Move it down here. And you can go to the people with the QR names. This one has not been written in at all, and it says it has little medals on it for St. Christopher and Our Lady of the Highway. So I'm assuming this is a meant for traveling. It's probably, uh, I would guess mid-century. I guess that's 1950s, and it was five dollars. Uh, I got these coasters, which I'm kind of regretting. They were only two dollars each. And they're marked Delft, Germany. I was wondering if that might be something that was made during the war because Delft is not normally made in Germany. But anyway, they are hand painted. Uh, probably earthenware. This is probably tin, I guess. Uh, it's definitely not silver. <laughs> Two dollars each. I, I looked online and there's like a million of them out there and they don't sell for a whole lot. But, hey, whatever. Um, okay, this is an interesting item. Maybe you can help me figure out what it's for. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, well, let me show you this first. It is a box. Me and my boxes. 
And there it is. And it has this very old, this is a, a wrought iron peg that goes in here to secure the latch. And then this has this giant hook. This is hand forged. All the whole chain is hand forged, carved. The hinges are hand forged. seen this kind of carving before. I can't quite place it. That's what the inside looks like. God, it's all, it's all, every bit of it by hand. It's just so cool. Um, I got this at the end of the day. The lady did not want to pack it up, so she sold it to me for $13. She wanted $15. I wanted to pay her $10. We compromised at $13. Uh, I've got some, some bird prints. These, excuse them for being absolutely, I mean, these are coated with so much dirt, and I have not cleaned them. They're very old. Uh, I was counting on them being Ottoman, Autobahn prints, even though um, the map covers up any publication information, but I was pretty sure they were Ottoman, and I was right. And this is, uh, I believe this is the Whippoorwill. And this one is Chuck Will's Widow. And this one is Carolina Parakeets. These are extinct now. They are the only North American, or maybe the only United States indigenous parrot. We let them go extinct. And this is a flamingo. This is probably one of his most popular prints. The parakeets are popular too. The brown birds, not so popular. But uh, depending on who published those and when they could be valuable? Probably they aren't. I paid $35 for the four of them. So I, I have to like take them out of the frames or take at least one of them out of the frame and look at it. I'll probably, I'm thinking maybe I'll get them reframed or maybe at least just get some new mats, some acid free mats because these are clearly turning the prints brown, which is not a good thing. Uh, I bought some needlework. These were five dollars a piece. This is a, I always called it gross point growing up. I, I guess it's grow point really. Um, this is a Canadian canvas. This tag looks like it's pretty old. Very nicely stitched. This one too is very nicely stitched. This one is some cross stitch and very fine needlepoint. And this last one is needlepoint. And I love that it's got the maker's mark sewn right in. Which is interesting. So that's obviously Asian. She had a whole box. I should have bought more probably, but I didn't want to go overboard. So five dollars a piece on those. And, hmm, I guess, I guess that's all. That is all. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like these items, they are or soon will be for sale in my Etsy shop at vintagedazzle.etsy.com. Or if you can't find it in my Etsy shop or you just would rather not buy it in my Etsy shop and you'd rather talk to me through uh, email, you can do that too. All of my contact information is in the description below. And um, yeah, that's it. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, I publish haul videos and I publish uh, day in the life of vlogs. And that's it. Okay, bye.